Yo, yo, people. Iggy here, Fowtech Unlimited, the holster guy. I have a brand new holster that I'm trying for you. I had a request for it. I normally don't make these like this, but I figured might as well try it. So uh, I showed you this in one of my other videos. I, I literally just finished it. It's a two-piece, so technically you could take this apart if you want to, uh, but it is held together with um, paracord. So uh, they're cut to fit together, and they'll flex with your body. So uh, this is for a Glock 43, and we'll be making uh, pretty much one that's like this, uh, absolutely identical. And uh, I'm going to try it a little bit different way. I made these two separate pieces. This one I'm going to try it as the same piece, but then I'll just cut it and do my thing. So I think it would. Uh, I think it's going to work out good. Um, but anyways, I'm going to show you how to do this for the uh, Glock 43 and Glock 43X. So let's get to it. So I already have my stuff blocked, as you can see. Um, got the 43X, how I always want it. That's ex exactly what I need, so that's what we're going to do. And then the magazine, I literally just did three nickels. And then just a piece here for the uh, little bump to relocate the holster. So we need uh, pieces of Kydex that are large enough for it. And they're going to stick out about yay. And then we're going to cut, cut in here. So... As long as they're uh, far enough apart, we should be good. So, got this one piece here. It's a little large, but it'll do. And it's going to be about so. I mean, I guess it would be easier to do it as two separate pieces as well. You can absolutely do that. Uh, maybe, maybe I will do that. But this is going to be a two-piece holster, and this is going to be a two-piece holster. So you're looking at four pieces all together. But let's, uh, I'll cut another piece, and um, yeah, we'll get it going. And I'll show you how to do it. Looking at it, I actually think I could suffice by using this one piece. If I take it and I cut it right about here, I only need enough for what we're doing. Uh, so, you know, I'll cut it here. Let's see if that leaves enough material. If it doesn't, then I'll just cut another one this size. But if this is here, this is here, as long as I have enough room to put that, and then this is going to go here, well, that's plenty. So we'll come down with it slightly, well, that's plenty of room, yep. So we know that we're going to want this here, actually, wow, that is almost like exact how I have it. So that's how it will it will look. You want this high enough for the clip to go under. So it's going to be roughly like that. So I'll go ahead and um, warm these up. So if it sits like that and this goes here, you know what, I'm going to cut another piece. It's always better to have too much than too little because it stinks when you have to cut another piece of Kydex. So. All right, I'll cut another one and work on that. Quick rip on the bandsaw, and we went ahead and cut one that's a little bit larger, which is fine. So I'll pretty much flip them. I'll use this for the back, that for the front. And we will be good. All right. Okay, so again, it's cold in here, so you definitely need to let your uh, foam heat up and I'll show you exactly what I'm doing. So it is extremely cold in here. It's like 12 degrees outside. My garage has crappy heat, but I got the wood stove going. Um, but I have it on right now and obviously the door is open. So what we're doing is we're letting the heat come up and uh, warm this up. If you can pinch it and pretty much feel your fingers all the way through, it's ready. You can see the stuff hasn't been heated and that's pretty much as far as I can get, which isn't going to do you anything. So that's pretty good, but where you want it a little bit more. So I'm going to let it sit for a little bit, and then what I'll do is I'll take it and flip them 180, and uh, so that way they can compress really good. But this is all set. We're going to wait on that, and then we'll go ahead and press them in the beasts. And we're back at it. Came out. Looks decent. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to mark out where I'm going to put everything. So, let's see here. Need pencil and you want to keep in mind that you're going to be grabbing right here so I go a finger length down so we're going to go right there well 
add that and then outline and then we're going to be going pretty much straight across and go here which means once we have this here we're going to do a third hole here so this one will drill through both layers drill through both layers and then this one we're going to drill through one layer and i'll show you exactly what i mean on that these are half sweat shield so we're only going to go halfway up and coming down all right so uh this is the kicker there's going to be one here there's going to be a rivet here a rivet here this is going to come up this is going to go around like so we'll have this down here and come over here uh so this is the uh the tricky part this part of the holster is pretty much going to come up like so and it's going to come out and then up right and it's going to have two two rivets in it so we're going to do rivet there rivet there and we'll go down and then we'll come back up and this will go right there all right so that means on this side there'll be oh it's gonna go a little bit more there we go and then we'll do a rivet from one one there and one there and this will come out okay now because this is sitting down here. We want this to sit down here and I had a spacer that we have to use as well. I had it on the bench right here. So this is gonna go over here. And we'll stick that right here. So mark that puppy. So we know it's gonna go here. So this is gonna go right to there and then this is come come down. So we know this is going to go here, and that's going to go right there. So when this is all said and done, this will line up like so. And I'll show you what these spaces are for, but it goes here and it lifts that off the off of that. So, and then this is going to, we'll just come that down right there, like so. Or we could come down straight and then angle over, which I think I'll do that instead. All right, so hole, which we won't do that now, but we'll drill, 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 um, drill through, drill through, and whatnot. So, but we got to drill all those as well. So, looking forward to this. So, these are going to be quarter inch drills. So, I'll go ahead and knock that out right now. is drilled. Clean all the holes. And uh, we are ready to separate these two. Magazine retention. Now that the magazine's out. All right. So this is going to be rivet, and these will be rivets. So I'm going to go ahead. I'll throw those rivets in, and then I'll show you uh, exactly what's next. Nope. 
So learn to back everything up. There we go. And then we're going to go ahead and cut. It. Not right there. Right, Charles. All right, here we are back with these guys. So uh, they cleaned up great. Oh, these, uh, if you haven't figured that out, these will go together like so, and then they'll put them together with um, some paracord. Uh, so I just cleaned them up and whatnot. So uh, we need to drill and mount everything for this guy. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and do just that. Now, um, we have these two marked out. These two are gonna be all the way through both. This one's going to be one, and I'll show you why in a second. So if you notice, three holes on top, two holes on bottom. All right. So this one is ready to uh, assemble. So these ones, I'll go ahead and get the necessary uh, hardware. And voila, we have all of our parts. Uh, so I guess I'll, I'll do this side too. So, get the crap out of here. Again, it's much easier if you add this before you rivet it. But, there's always a way. There's 
that. And for this one, I have uh, half inch posts, half inch, and then this is, um, that's a half inch as well. So both of these screws. Go ahead and add those. And while we're at it on this side, uh, yep, we'll need one. So, half inches underneath, spacer, and then your clip. All right, so there's one side done. Ahead and do this side so before we throw this on here because this is gonna be on here we're not gonna be able to do a lot so uh, I forgot one piece all right yep. okay just make sure I got everything so this side we'll start off with oh, this is gonna go here but I need a regular guy uh, let's see here. That's the regular one. It's a regular one. And uh, again, missing another. All right. I thought it looked funny for a second. So this is going to be upside down. So we're going this one here. And this is going to go here, and the screw is going to go from the bottom up. And I'll show you why in a second. Uh, this one, we'll take this, throw this here, and then this is going to go through like so. And then, oh, I throw this on. And then we're going to take a small pass through. It's going to go at the bottom. And take our one inch screw. It's going to go there. Now you want to square these up and tighten those. There we go. And this is why we did that. So these two are going to be the retention points. And then this one is. That, that way this doesn't move so easy enough so with this here we'll take our tension and missing the screw so this guy go through right here like so and that'll bring the screw right up to there we'll go ahead and do this one now this one to tighten you're gonna have to tighten from the bottom side so that is the flathead screwdriver again I, I have these uh, Forster gunsmithing uh, drill uh, flatheads so if you notice that the the flathead itself the blade is the same um, size as the diameter so they don't strip out and all that fun stuff so go ahead and do that tighten this up a little bit and there we have let's tighten that up claws always come with a large claw and a small claw so I'll put that on there and that goes underneath And then the customer gets this. And I will rip this 43 apart and see if we have to tighten it or loosen it. Ah, perfect. Now we're going to bother touching it. And then 
the side. That feels good as well. Um, we don't have to. Uh, but before I put them together, I am, however, going to spray it real quick. Just to clean them. And this could be whatever paracord you want. This one was requested to have uh, purple or red, or and red. The other one is um, is red or is purple rather, because I want it finished. So we'll go ahead, cut off way more than you need. And trust me on that. Okay. Go. Grab a lighter. You don't want to burn both ends. This one came up like so, and I evened it out. Then it came up this guy, and then up this guy. So it's like that. But you want to add some slack and go back through. that rivet, got some slack, go back through, and then you set it and pull it as tight as you can, and that'll give you that look right there, and on the back, take all of it and tie it into a knot. And then keep the knot as far down as absolutely possible that you can do. Like so. Snip off the excess. Burn it. And when you do it this part, make sure it sticks together. So, and take your heat shrink. Let's see if this will fit it. Yep. Cut a good amount. Throw it over your ends. You can use the heat gun for this too, but that's on the other side of the shop. And I've worked with heat shrink for many years. Alright, and then pinch it. And when you pinch it, it'll stick together. After it's pinched and it cools, take some scissors and cut it right at the pinch. And there you have the IWB, or the AIWB, with the ability to move. Hell yeah.